What is up everybody, Skate211 here, and we're running the Orion with the VRPGs, running this build, I'll put it up, uh, just because someone actually, uh, Avery, my buddy Avery here, gave me the idea to run it, um, and it sounded really interesting, actually, so I'm like, I, I gotta give this a shot. Now I'm on the test server, because my Orion is not maxed out, and neither are my VRPGs, but uh, man, I, I really wanted to give it a shot, just because, you know, this is one of those weapons that, for a lot of people, has been quite underwhelming but has high single target damage and with the idea of mark it sounds like it could be really good i tested it and man boom look at those shots i mean it's it's hitting pretty dang hard pretty incredibly now obviously these are bots i'm on the test server but they're they're you know five star bots and my build is maxed as you saw um so you know it's it's a little bit better than that but i did try some higher level bots with this uh, as well, and uh, you know, I, I was quite impressed. Uh, obviously, it's not players, and player experiences are going to be different, of course. But uh, even getting like to higher level bots and stuff to be able to use this and see it in action, I actually was really impressed. All right, the, the single target damage, like I said, of the VRPGs has really always been good. It's just the you know the other things that lack in its performance versus like what is considered meta. Um, and I think this actually has some good potential to be up there, all right? I, I, I could see people playing this a lot like long arms or like long arm 12s or rail guns in the same way. Um, and some people would say, why not just run those? Well, first of all, those may be harder for some people to get, all right? Uh, and secondly, do those have long reload times. This has a seven and a half second reload. And if you use implants, you can get that down faster. Now I'm using the legendary one, which gets to like five seconds. So, you know, you don't have to be that intense with it, um, but you will want a solid damage implant for this. Uh, and, um, you know, you, you wanna keep that in mind to make sure your damage is pretty solid. Probably like an epic one, if you can swing it at least. Um, but uh, I will say the other thing that is maybe a little tricky for this is, and a, maybe a bottleneck in some ways, man, boom, look at that, that's awesome, uh, is the uh, uh, the mark, okay? Uh, the mark is a 12 second one. So if you can't daisy chain them together, like from target to target, like if the situation doesn't work out that well and you have to take single targets on, you're gonna be firing without that boosted damage and you'll see a massive difference like that. You know, I, I, I use my full clip and I still didn't take on that juggernaut. I had to do it separately, which is definitely not ideal. But boom, that by comparison is a single shot kill. I mean, that's that's the way you wanna go. So if you can get a uh, cooldown, especially one that's either legendary or epic, once again, you're gonna wanna use it for this if you're gonna try to run this build. Otherwise, that's gonna be the biggest bottleneck. Um, and I will say that, um, oh, no, oh, he missed. Ah, the other issue is the Voltaic RPG 16 and 8 that I'm running with this. Um, the 16 uh, only has four in the clip, and the 8 has six in the clip. So you're going to be reloading because you're going to want to rely more on the 16 than you do on the 8. The 8 is not going to be doing the heavy lifting. So you got to keep that in mind. You can even corner shoot with Mark with the 16 and do pretty well uh, from my experience with it. But, man, I got to say overall, this is a lot of fun. Uh, I, I don't think this is top end meta but it's pretty darn respectable and I'd, I'd like to see people run it you guys can let me know your thoughts about this build and the idea below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield